That was the line we were. That was the line Americans were told, and it was fucking a lot of people believed it. People believe this shit. I know that if you're watching this right now, then you're probably smart enough to not believe this shit. This was supposed to be a a a moment, like I said, for ironing things out, for easing tensions. It's gonna be okay. And Blinken meets with. President Xi and, and, and says, you know, we're, we, to some level, without using these words, we're sorry about the whole Cold War thing, but we're, 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 we're totes cool. It's going to work out. We're cool. Uh, and then it ends up essentially backfiring because of Biden's dumb, <laughs> dumb ass mouth. Biden calls the Chinese leader a dictator. Not to his face, because Biden wasn't there, but Biden was in front of donors. Uh, but he knew it wasn't like a private meeting. He knew there was press there. Um, calls him a dictator and opens a new rift right as a new rift right as uh, Blinken is, is on his tension easing trip. But there's another aspect of more than just how dumb this is and how, how bad it is for these relations. More than that, there's another aspect of this that I'm about to get to that is completely being like largely ignored, which is a like Biden admitted to something that completely undermines everything the U.S. has told you for the past several months. So Blinken's over there. President Joe Biden's remarks calling Chinese leader Xi Jinping, Jinping a dictator and China a country with real economic difficulties drew fast condemnation from China over on Wednesday, cracking open a new rift just after the two countries agreed to tentative steps to stabilize the relationship. Uh, and the other reason that also I should point out that the U.S. has to go running to China and say, hey, hey, we do want to be friends. We do want to be cool is because there's so many countries that are growing outside of the U.S. dollar, the petrodollar, the reserve currency, the thing that gives America, the American empire, all of our power. They are all the countries are flocking to get outside of it, understandably. And it is very wor worrisome to the ruling elite in the U.S. And so they have to run over to China and say, hey, we're, we're cool. It's, it's cool. It's OK. But. Here are the exact remarks. So Biden's in front of these, he's in this, he's in front of wealthy donors just a couple weeks ago uh, and, or a week ago. And he says, quote, the reason why Xi Jinping got very upset in terms of when I shot that balloon down. So he's still touting the fact that they spent millions of dollars to shoot down a fucking weather balloon. When I shot that balloon down with two boxcars full of spy equipment, which is probably not true, but they just have to keep saying that, is he didn't know it was there, Biden told the crowd. Quote, no, I'm serious. That was the great embarrassment for dictators when you didn't know what happened. And he then says... By the way, I promise you, don't worry about China. Worry about China, but don't worry about China. <laughs> Dude, he sounds so out of it. Biden said, I really mean it. China has real economic difficulties. So he's saying, yeah, he said, don't worry about China, which is hilarious. But anyway, uh, this is the part of this statement that very few people seem to be highlighting. Is Biden is admitting that Xi Jinping, Jinping, didn't know the balloon was there. That goes against the entire story we were told, that Americans were told, right? We were told this was this evil, dastardly Chinese spy balloon, even though if they were going to spy on us, they would use satellites and the idea that they need to float a balloon across the U.S. and destroy uh, any kind of, of uh, diplomacy between the two countries, just destroy the relationship so that they can float a dumb balloon across that. Chances are we're going to spot. Uh, it's, it's, it's fucking lunacy. But anyway, let's take... Let, let's let's just repeat what the propaganda was at the time. It was China's evil. They sent this dastardly balloon to spy on us, to spy on Americans, to see what's going on down there. And they floated it across the U.S., right? Down across Montana, down across, all the way down to North Carolina and then out over the ocean. And they did this 
to spy on us, right? That was the line we were, that was the line Americans were told. And it, it was fucking, a lot of people believed it. People believe this shit. I know that if you're watching this right now, then you're probably smart enough to not believe this shit. But a lot of people across America go, fucking China, man. They're, they're sending spy balloons to get us. Uh, they believed it. But now here's Biden in front of, quietly in front of donors saying, China didn't know the balloon was there, meaning it was blown off course. Even if it had been a spy balloon, that would mean China was not intending to spy on America. That's the opposite of what you told us for months, for months. And here's Biden admitting, even if he's still claiming it's a spy balloon, admitting that China didn't mean to put it there, didn't mean to have it above America, didn't mean to spy on America. That is the opposite of the propaganda we heard for months. And now you have Joe Biden admitting it, that it was bullshit coming from the U.S. government. And then we had to run around shooting down hobby balloons. <laughs> That's what we did next is we shot down three other balloons that were like fucking hobby balloons that cost $12. And I didn't even know hobby balloons still existed, but we, we spent a million dollars on two Sidewinder missiles to shoot down a $12 balloon. But I just want to reiterate that this goes against everything we were told for months. And I have not seen the mainstream media. Maybe there's some articles out there. I have not seen the mainstream media at, at, at to this point, up to now, say that this was not an intentional spying by China. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I missed it. Maybe CNN has been running report after report saying, oh, no, China was not intentionally spying on the U.S. But I have not heard that. So I don't I don't know what the fuck. Um, but this is Biden admitting it and at the same time torpedoing his own foreign policy calling. And you got to remember that the Chinese and it, they're not the only country, they're not the only culture, but it, it means a lot to them as it means a lot to pretty much most people to be respected. And this is the most disrespectful thing Biden could do to tell people that Xi is a dictator and that he uh, that 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 China has a shitty economy, so you don't need to worry about anything they do because their economy is shit. Uh, their economy is actually growing, as ours is not. Now, of course, if you want to get into the deeper level of reality, because I like to do that, and a lot of people don't, but we should not want infinite growth. Side side note, but if you believe the the capitalist view of the world, grow 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 at all cost. Uh, so China's economy is actually growing. The U.S. is not growing. Um, and, you know, if you get at a deeper level, we should not want it to keep growing. But anyway, 